Hello, everyone, and welcome back to English with Lucy. I've got a very long-awaited video for you, a video that many of you have waited a very long time for. Around four years ago, I promised that if enough of you requested this video, I'd make it. Let me just check exactly when I said that. Oh God, I've just had to watch an advert on my own video. I hope that's not illegal. <laughs> the sixteenth of June, two thousand and sixteen. So four and a bit years later, here I am with get phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are so annoying to learn. They're really quite difficult for many students. But I think that the absolute best way to learn them is through context. So I'm going to teach them to you through a true story. A story. About me, <laughs> I will be talking to you about my experience learning another language, Spanish, and how I went from being a student doing the bare minimum, and that means the least possible amount of work that I could do, to what I consider to be fluent in my second language. So hopefully, you might find this motivating, and at the very least, you'll learn lots of get. Phrasal verbs in context. Right, let's get started with the story and the lesson. So it's going to work like this. I'm going to read out a little section of my story, then we'll pick out the get phrasal verb, and we'll look at the definition. For a long time, I got away with doing the bare minimum at school, and my Spanish really suffered. I lived in a tiny village with no public transport. I wanted to get away and explore another culture. Okay, let's look at this first phrasal verb. I've actually used it twice, but it means different things depending on the context. It is to get away. So in the first instance, I say that I got away with doing something. The bare minimum. The bare minimum is very, very little. The least amount possible. Now, in this context, get away means to succeed in avoiding punishment for something, or similarly, to do something successfully, even though it's not the best way to do it. So, I would say in this context, it means the latter. So, this means that I was still passing at school, but I was working very, very little. I was doing the absolute minimum. In the second sentence, I wanted to get away and explore. To get away in this case means to leave or to escape, and this is true. I grew up in a tiny, weeny village,、um, and we didn't have any public transport, and obviously I couldn't drive. I was sixteen in the time of this story, and I felt that learning another language was my ticket out of that village. It was a way to leave and, and go somewhere else. I knew that if I wanted to get ahead, I had to do more than just attend my school classes. I explained my predicament to my parents, and they got behind me. They told me that if I wanted to go abroad, I had to get out and find a job. Okay, so we've got three phrasal verbs with get there. Let's look at the first one: to get ahead. To get ahead. This means to become successful in one's life or career. I wasn't going to get ahead by doing the bare minimum, so I knew I had to do something more. Then we have to get behind, and although this sounds negative because it's behind, it's actually really positive. To get behind something or to get behind someone is to support something or someone. So my parents really supported me. We often use to get behind an idea. Or something, or a project. I think they'll get behind that project. I think they'll really support it. Then we have the final one: to get out, which means to leave, and in this case, the house. My parents wanted me to leave the house and find a job so that I could fund my own travels. That's a decision that my parents made, that I have always thought was really good. Whenever we wanted something, we had to find a way ourselves.、Um, They could probably have afforded to pay for me to go to Spain, but they told me that I had to find a job and do it myself, and I think that's great. Okay, next part of the story. I got onto it straight away and found a job in the local pub. I spoke about this in a previous video. My job at the pub. In that video, I explained lots of different ways to say said. Link down below. 
Once I'd saved enough money, I called a language academy in Seville, Spain. I got through to the manager and I booked a week-long residential language course. When I arrived in Seville, I met all of my classmates and we got on really well. I found that I could get by with the little Spanish I knew. Okay, so let's start with to get onto something. In this context, it means to start to do or to start to deal with something. So if you have a problem or a task ahead of you, you can say, right, I'll get onto it. I'll start to deal with it. Next, we have to get through, which means to make a successful telephone call. If you called somebody but they didn't pick up, you can say, oh, I couldn't get through to him. Now, if I can remember correctly, at this time I was 16 to 17, and I think I lied to get onto an adult course. I don't recommend doing that, but I remember thinking I don't want to be treated like a child. I just want to do the adult course. I feel like an adult. I'm 16, 17. <laughs> and the next one to get on with, you might also hear to get along with. I would probably be more inclined to say to get on with because to get along with requires slightly more effort. <laughs> and the last one to get by, to get by. This means to manage with difficulty to live or to accomplish something. So in this situation, I was managing to communicate with difficulty, but I accomplished it. You might hear people talking about money with get by. I don't earn much, but I get by, I manage to live. Okay, next part of the story. As I got older, I found that getting a couple of drinks down me made me more confident when speaking. I made lots of Spanish friends and I couldn't get over how much I improved by speaking to them on WhatsApp each day. It felt good when I was able to get my thoughts and feelings across. So that first one, to get down, this means to swallow. So to get a couple of drinks down you is to swallow a couple of drinks. Yes, I'm in no way promoting drinking alcohol as a method of learning Spanish or English or any other language, but that is definitely something I noticed when I was old enough to drink. Suddenly I felt fluent. Then we have to get over. And this has various meanings like most of these phrasal verbs. In this instance, it means to accept or to come to terms with. So we often use it to talk about a past relationship. It took me two years to get over him, to kind of recover from the pain or to accept and to come to terms with the breakup. In this case, I'm saying I was shocked or surprised. I couldn't get over it. I couldn't recover from my shock. I was so surprised at how much I improved by talking to them on WhatsApp. And this was true. Having a couple of friends that I could send messages to each day was amazing, especially when voice messages became popular. And the last one, you might not have noticed the preposition or the particle here, uh, because it's at the end of the sentence, to get my thoughts and feelings across. This phrasal verb is separable. Some of them are inseparable, like to take off. You can't take a plane off. It's always the plane takes off. But this one can be separated. And to get across or to get something across is to make somebody understand something. I'm not sure if I've got that across. I'm not sure if I've made you understand that. Final part of the story. I really got into Spanish TV shows and this helped a lot. I started working as much as I could and every time I got off work, I counted my money to see if I could afford another trip to Spain. I managed to go twice more and each time I got back, I tried to plan another trip. I actually had a Spanish boyfriend, but we broke up and got back together a few times. <laughs> Seville has an extremely special place in my heart. I always try to go back there and I get together with all of my old friends and we reminisce. Let's look at these last few then. I said I got into TV shows. If you get into something, it means you become interested in it. When I was younger, I got into heavy metal. I became very interested in heavy metal. I got into watching Spanish TV shows, but they were not high quality ones. They were reality TV shows. <laughs> Probably not fantastic for language learning, but I learned a lot from them. <laughs>
mujeres, hombres y viceversa. Then we have to get off. Obviously, in some cases, this can mean to alight, so to get off a train, to get off a plane. Remember, if you have to crouch down and make your body small, for example, a car or a taxi, you get out of a car, you get out of a taxi. In, out, car, taxi, on, off, train, bus, plane. In this case, it means to finish work, to leave work. I get off in five minutes. I leave work in five minutes. We also have to get back, but this has two meanings. The first one, to get back from a trip, to return, to arrive home from a trip. And the second one, to get back with someone or to get back together. This means to restart a previously ended relationship. So we break up, we get back together. Did she get back with him? Has she started their relationship again? And this is true. It's another thing that really, really helped my Spanish. Getting a Spanish boyfriend. Again, not something I, I recommend as a language learning tool, um, but I think it just shows how powerful it can be to meet and mingle with people who speak that language. We have the last one, to get together, which means to meet socially. You can now have a get together as a noun, which is a social meeting. I'm having a little get together at mine tonight. Um, or shall we get together this weekend? Shall we meet up socially this weekend? Get together sounds much better. Again, don't forget to download the free PDF for this lesson. I've got the full transcript and story, all of the get phrasal verbs, the vocabulary with their definitions and some extra examples as well. Just click on the link in the description box for that. And you just have to sign in with your email address and it will be sent straight to you. Don't forget to check out Sensations English. All of the information is in the description box as well. And don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, and my email list. I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah.